Hi, good morning. My name is Boaz Asaf, and I'm the founder and CEO of Callspan. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you how we are changing colorectal surgery. We have offices in Cambridge and in uh, Israel. We've, done, we've completed two com clinical studies with a device I'm going to show you uh, with some great results, 91 cases. The product is CMARC and ready to be launched in Europe. We've got 14 granted patents and two more applications pending. And so far, we raised just about $20 million from MedTech VCs and one strategic partner in the surgical domain. And we've also been granted uh, blended financing from the European Innovation Council. Let's begin with the story for one of our patients. At the age of 29, Irma Lechuga was diagnosed with rectal cancer. She didn't have any family history, and she was diagnosed uh, after suffering from rectal bleeding. Unfortunately, Irma is not alone. Colorectal cancer is a well-known disease all over the world. In the last decade, we've seen a huge increase in rectal cancer rate for patients below the age of 50. Like most rectal cancer patients, Irma was scheduled to get a long course of chemo radiation, following by a surgery with a plan to resect the disease segment, section and connect the two healthy segments together by colorectal anastomosis. The most devastating complication associated with colorectal surgery is anastomotic leakage of colon content into the abdominal cavity. In the best case scenario, we're talking about longer hospitalization, intensive medication, very high rate of pre-operation, and a huge cost. In the worst case scenario, the outcome is death. The gold standard treating today that surgeons are offering their patient to treat the potential of clinical leak is to create a diverting bypass, also called the stoma. The surgeon extrudes the loop of the small bowel outside the abdominal cavity and connect the patient with a plastic bag to collect his feces uh, for a few months. Besides making life very difficult for patients, stoma is associated with high rate of surgical complication, and closing the stoma requires another surgery, and of course, huge cost. So Irma hated the, the idea of having a stoma just for a few months, but luckily for her, she was uh, found eligible to participate in our clinical study. Here's a short animation describing our solution designed to replace diverting stoma. Can we have the audio, please? Past device designed to reduce contact of fecal content with the anastomotic site. After the disease segment is resectioned, the colospan device placement begins through the placement of a single silicone ring around the colon. The surgeon completes the anastomosis as planned. The device is then inserted into the rectum using a delivery system. Once deployed, the thin silicone sheath is positioned by inflating the three balloons, and the delivery system is extracted from the body. The ring connecting tube is fixed outside the abdominal wall, just like a surgical drain. All colon content passes through the sheath. Even if there is slight anastomotic dehiscence, there is no spillage into the abdominal cavity. After 10 days, when the risk for leakage is reduced, the device is extracted with no need for surgical intervention. The ring is opened from the outside and extracted like a surgical drain. The balloons are then deflated and the sheath is pulled out from the rectum. After surgery, Irma posted a comment on YouTube describing her experience and her concern of having a stoma. We are targeting a growing market of $5 billion based on one million procedure located in the left lower segment of the colon of rectum per year. Obviously, there's been many attempts to solve the problem of clinical leaks. Unfortunately, none of these technologies showed any clinical efficacy, nor be able to uh, uh, replace diverting stoma. We also identified two direct competitors, uh, which we believe we have some uh, unique advantages over both of them, but at the same time, we're happy to see some more companies trying to address the same unmet clinical need. Our potential partners list includes worldwide stapling, surgical, endoscopy, and ostomy companies. The product, again, is marked under the new MDR in Europe and ready to be launched, and in the US, it's a class three device with a PMA pathway and we already have the ID approved. Of course, innovation is not uh, enough today, and everybody will have to show clinical or economic benefits. Our reimbursement strategy is focused on hospitals as our main stakeholders, and we have developed a model showing that by replacing diverting stoma with our device, hospitals can save up to $25,000 per patient. 
When looking at our five-year plan, we see two inflection points. The first one will be mid-2025, when we will complete patient enrollment for the pivotal study, and the second one at the end of 2026, when we will obtain FDA approval. We are now raising a round of $30 million that will allow us to complete the pivotal trial, launch the product in Europe, and obtain FDA approval. New devices often improve patient care, but rarely does an innovation change completely the standard of care while answering the needs of every key stakeholders in the game. Colospan is doing exactly that with its device. We build a strong company answering the number one clinical need in colorectal surgery, representing a tremendous uh, economic upside, and we believe that with our assets in people, IP, clinical and regulatory, we are positioned to be um, um, the, the, the strong leader of this domain. Our team includes top professional developments and commercialization of medical devices, and we've also been honored to support by uh, top scientific advisors. Just to close the story of Irma, she had a surgery in August 2021, and this was very successful, and three months later, she found out she's pregnant with a third uh, child. If she had a stoma, this would be impossible for her. I've got a few more times, so I'm just gonna finish with a, one message to you guys. March is the awareness uh, uh, month for colorectal cancer. If you're 45 year old or older and never got tested, I urge you, go get screened. This test can save life. Thank you very much. <laughs>